Hi, this is Travis with another video for you guys today. I'm a doctor of physical therapy as well as I've been a personal trainer for about 15 years. And so today I'm gonna to talk about a pretty versatile little tool called a Perform Better Mini Band. Um, there's other companies that make mini bands as well, but this is just the kind that I like to use. You can get all four colors, and uh, yellow tends to be the easiest, uh, green, blue, and then black. And so of course I'll put the links at the bottom as usual. For those of you who are really strong, you can always combine two of these bands as well. So if you double these up, that'll add a little more tension for those of you who are really looking to get after yourselves. And uh, for those of you who only have these uh, kind of lengthier, uh, like the TheraBands, you can always tie these in a loop and you'll be able to do some of the same exercises I'm gonna show you today. So this is gonna be the first half of a two-part series where today I'm talking more about the lower half. I'm just gonna show you guys some unique ways you can get after some of the muscles in your legs. So uh, go ahead and grab a mini band and we'll get started. If you watched the quadricep and hamstring video, you might be familiar when I did the leg extension. So I'm going to show that again for a moment. So the leg extension again is just kind of lock in that hook line position and straighten one leg. Okay? So you can straighten one side or you can straighten the other. Okay? Again, I can alternate if you want to do it that way or just go continuously on one side until that leg runs out of gas and then you would go ahead and take a break, okay? So that's the quadriceps. Okay, so the hamstring, all you're gonna do is lay on your stomach, so face down. You can always put a pillow underneath your stomach or a blanket kind of fold it up if it hurts your back to lay flat. Once you roll over, you just lock in that position down in place and then curl your leg up toward yourself. Okay, and again, I can alternate. Or just do one side until it gets tired, and then switch. So that's the hamstrings. After that, we can get into uh, some glute meat and glute men a little more specifically. And an easy, the simplest way to do that is traditionally on your back. So you would just put those feet together and do an exercise we tend to call a clam. Okay. So again, just pretty much keep it out of this in the same spot. Move your knees apart. Okay. Now, if you decide you want to make that a little harder, this gets easy for you, you can always just roll it over on your side. Keep your core a little braced so you're not too sunken in here. Keep your hips stacked on top of each other so you don't want to be rolling away on this one. Just kind of keep that hip right where it is and move your knees apart, okay? If you want to stabilize down here, you can, okay? And try to not let your pelvis follow that leg out, and that's a really nice way to recruit that muscle. So for the glutes, all you're going to do is just take this thing around your knees and lay on your back. Just above the top of my knees here, I'm going to just lay flat. The band is trying to move my knees together, so by not allowing that to happen, I'm getting some of my deeper glute muscles here, like the glute med and the glute men. And then from there, you just go into a bridge, okay? And if you're trying to bias your hamstring a little more, you know, feet farther away, or if I really want to just put the emphasis on the glutes, Feet a little bit closer, we'll tend to get into them a little bit more. Or you can make it a little more dynamic and kind of open up as you break. So if you're looking for a little additional attention on the glutes, just take this band in the same spot, you're going to roll over onto all fours. Okay. And then from there, there's a couple different ways you can do this. You can actually just make one leg so you can actually kind of have your legs back a little bit more and then just straighten one leg at a time. Okay? Or if you want to just put a little more emphasis like I showed in the other glute video, you can do some hip extension from that position. Okay? Just try to keep that back position pretty much dialed in. You don't want to be too, too bowed here. Just kind of flat as best you can. You can do core is braced and then just extend that thing, okay? And that's a nice way to get some attention more on that glute max area. I can also do a little bit of what we call hip abduction. So you can also take that hip out to the side to get a little bit more into that glute meat and min again. That's a little bit harder way to do it. For those of you looking to get a little more abs into the mixture, you can take these bands and you can do some resisted, you know, what we call hip flexion. And so what I would do for that one is take the band again around the top of the knees. Once you have it there, you're going to lay on your back. And now what you want to do is one leg is going to stay still, and then the other leg is going to come up. Okay? 
And so this would be from a hook line position, which would be sort of the gentler way to do it. Now all you have to do to make this harder is just walk your legs out a little bit farther in front of you. And then you could do kind of a runner type movement like this, okay? And so you're just trying to keep that space underneath your back about the same. Try to not let your pelvis be rocking on you a lot in this one. Just kind of lock in that position, good brace, and then bring it up one at a time, okay? Once you've kind of graduated from that phase, you can actually bring those legs up in the air, okay? And then from there, actually, what you can do is get your hip extension now. So lock that in, and then try to straighten one leg at a time. And that's kind of a cool, as well as a unique recruitment of your core muscles. Okay, so I'll give you guys another encore today. So we can combine a couple of those concepts. So for those of you who remember those quad and hamstring variations uh, earlier in this video and from the other video I showed, we can combine that with a bridge. And so what you're going to do is just lay on your back and you're going to go into a bridge position. So you're going to hold that spot. So just kind of lock that in and then straighten one leg at a time. Okay? And so again, I can alternate like I am now or just kind of go continuously on one side until that side runs out of gas. And whenever that is, then you would go ahead and switch. And so that's a really cool and pretty potent way to combine some concepts for those of you who are more advanced. Now, obviously, again, you know, slice accordingly. Um, you know, I know for some of you, you may have a difficult time with just a bridge by itself, and that's totally fine, you know, certainly uh, slice that accordingly. But for those of you who are a little more advanced, want a little something extra, I would say, you know, combine some of this stuff, it's pretty cool. Um, don't forget, uh, you know, you can always marry this together with some of those bread and butter exercises. So, you know, the squats, the lunges, uh, step ups, uh, deadlifts, you know, and, and even hip thrusts, as I showed in the glute video, you guys can check that out. Um, those are really good bread and butter exercises. And these, you know, accessory exercises are really cool supplements to all that. And again, all you need is one of these mini bands, um, which again, you can get, and I'll put the links at the bottom. Um, it tends to be, you know, about 20 bucks again for all four colors. So try some of this stuff out. Um, feel free to comment below. And once again, I hope you guys have some fun.